Well, a PAN, like I said, is pretty straightforward, and uh, all we have to do is provide uh, some new content. Let me try changing this size so that it's more readable. Uh, and uh, it's, uh, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, of course, uh, with the string, a PAN does not exist. Uh, there is a concatenation, which is the plus sign, but then, of course, remember, any time you use plus with a string, it returns a brand new object. Uh, over here, this is uh, 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 in the string builder situation. It truly changes things in place. Uh, you're dealing with the same object with the same identity of it. Uh, insert. You have to provide the position. Of course, in real code, these uh, insertion positions uh, are not uh, really, uh, you know, hard coded like this. It's it's a bit un unrealistic. Uh, typically, you should be using name constants uh, to specify your positions. Uh, so, for instance, if you have a phone number um, which has the area code and the rest of the number, and you want to insert the the dashes uh, between the area code and the next three digits, I forgot what is the name of the next three digits. Uh, it has uh, the phone companies have the name for the next three digits. Anyone knows uh, what those what the net name name is? But basically, there's area code. There's that thing with three digits, and finally the four digits with like a phone number. Uh, so anyway, but uh, of course, uh, it's uh, the, those positions in in the real world are either uh, computed uh, or. Uh, used as constant, you know, we should be aware of using uh, constant uh, uh, constant variables instead of hard-coded numbers like this, 3 and 7. This is not very uh, programmer friendly. Uh, delete character add. The, uh, so, um, uh, delete character add spares you from specifying the length of the fragment that has to be deleted. It just delete. It just goes ahead and deletes a character, but the character is f physically removed. So what happens in in you know we go back to our example here. Uh, what happens is that, uh, for instance, if I want to remove this character, right? If this character is the one that, that we want to remove, uh, then what what happens is is a remove of this delete character at is that the entire content collapses like this, right? So the, the character is physically gone, but of course the length of the content is adjusted. And, and, and uh, I mean, it, it seems like a significant uh, update, right? Uh, deletion of a single character. Just, uh, just be aware of it. Uh, okay, so it's not uh, uncommon that uh, uh, you have a loop, right? So this time, we do a, st a straightforward, you know, kind of move uh, move forward from offset zero to the to the entire length, and we simply just say, uh, uh, do I have character dash? Uh, yes, no. I if yes, then delete that character and keep moving, right? So uh, this uh, seems uh, straightforward enough, but uh, like I told you, sometimes because of those uh, uh, things that the, that uh, update the entire length. Uh, uh, some of these loops uh, could introduce some kind of some nasty bugs into our into our code. Just um, we need to kind of uh, ab approach all of this carefully um, when we when we create those loops. Just make sure that you understand everything that happens and uh, and try to in visualize how uh, the work is done by by this uh, by this uh, loop. Uh, uh, that is demonstrated here. So uh, the code that parses the number, um, okay, mm, uh, parses is perhaps an overstatement in this particular situation. I think it's basically uh, a, a substring. Uh, so another substring operation, of course, is is extraction of a substring. So it's not necessarily modification, but extracting a substring from. Uh, an existing uh, uh, an existing string uh, string uh, buffer. So once again, all we need to do is specify uh, parameters to the method, the starting position and the ending position. So notice that three uh, seven uh, three and seven here uh, are not um, are not 
um, um, uh, length uh, their positions, right? So the position of, for instance, if we look at, at this uh, line right here, what it says here is that let's start with position position four, right? Position four, which would be what zero, uh, one, uh, one, uh, two, three, four. So we're looking at this uh, uh, digit uh, five, right? And then the other position is position seven, seven, which is um, uh, five, uh, six. Uh, seven. So notice how the substring is specified. It's 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 a bit of a of a um, uh, another uh, kind of tricky part to it. Is that of course we provide the range, right? We do provide the range of characters, and we want to extract a substring out of it, which is returned to us as a string object. But uh, the way it's specified is that it starts with the with the particular character like this digit 5, but it, notice that it ends with a position that's, that, that, that points to a dash, not, not 5, but dash. This is done so that how do you extract the entire content, right? If I wanted to extract the entire content, a substring which equates the entire content, well, I can easily provide the first position, which, remember, uh, starts with 0, right? So the position of digit 9 is 0, clearly, yes, okay. Uh, but then the position of the, the, of the final uh, digit 2 is not the length of the string, right? It's, I mean, it, the length of the string uh, ends right here. So, so in order to be able to, uh, uh, to refer to the entire content, the position of the, en the ending position, the uh, of the substring is actually uh, pointing to to the position one beyond the one that you want. So if I wanted to specify, uh, uh, if I wanted to extract the substring which is this, right? I would naturally specify the beginning position as digit nine which is zero, but the ending position is like uh, uh, one after the last digit, which is actually the length of the content, right? Because if you think about it, this is the length of this content. So in other words, if I wanted to, uh, uh, to, to, to write this uh, 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 you know, uh, version of a statement here, so what I could do would be to say, I wanted to extract the entire content of the substring. What I, I'll do would uh, be like I could use zero over here, but over here I could say phone number, right? I could say uh, phone number length. Length. This will give me the the. So this should not say uh, prefix. It should say number, perhaps, right? And so this is the right way of um, specifying the range of characters that you want to be included in your substring, right? So um, 